Jimbo exists. <laughs> so. That's true, but Jimbo is mad weird, dude. Jimbo is so weird in so many ways, it's difficult to say, like, I have experience because I played against, uh, played against him, like, that I, I played against Jimbo. I don't know if that's that really true, works. That's true, that's true. Absolute Force is on ELE, right? Yeah, I believe so, Can somebody yeah. let me know if I'm wrong about that? And if I... Drew has a, uh, a team, I feel like I'm correct about this. Technically, but... Drew is a Midnight Moron. <laughs> I don't know if they typically have their name as a moniker within their tag, but somebody please no. let me know, and I will update accordingly as the second. I don't, I don't think they do, but shoutouts to the homies that occasionally make content. <laughs> so, I also want to mention, uh, Something Refined uh, obviously has like the biggest challenge when it comes to uh, the connection on this Parsec server. I was checking Drew's. Uh, Drew is at somewhere between 3 and 5 MS. <laughs> on, on, on this server, because he's, he's he's basically playing this, offline. This is this is the Virginia <laughs> server, so he's like the closest to it. So you know that that stands to reason. But he is also playing the most uh, executionally difficult character around. So even on like a fantastic day, somebody like Woes is gonna have a difficult time getting everything that they want. Fantastic jump K there, getting some of the just frames. We're seeing all of that kind of stuff showing up right away. Uh, interesting choice by Yoshimitsu there. I'm sure Absolute Force <laughs> was thinking he might want to try and get away. It was a fantastic tech jump idea, but uh, Absolute Force kind of got ganked in that yeah. last bit there. By the by, their own game. Yeah, yeah. Has well, a this bar. is a pretty. This is pr th this stage is worth uh, discussing sure, just yeah. on the basis that like, if if uh, Superfly Drew gets a little bit overconfident, this is the one stage where he basically dies for any mistakes. Yeah, uh, being too the linear. One stage <laughs> where yeah. he dies for any mistake. Um, it's really tough because uh, I would say that Setsuka's uh, ringouts, unless I'm mistaking something, uh, Setsuka's ringouts are pretty bad. They're just they're not good. They're, they're, they're kind of like, that's they're probably one awful. of her weakest. Uh, aspects, and you're talking about the best reverse mix-up character in the game, or re yeah. reverse reverse ring-out character in the game. Yeah, sure. but like the, to to uh, to uh, Superfly Drew's credit, he like literally knew that, that he was gonna go for like a fish right there. Oh yeah, and he pulled like I, it was like a, he just like B-side aided him, like kind of like an almost like borderline random interval, and it was just like, yeah, he he knows what's up. <laughs> Wow, he just decided to do Twister anyway! That was crazy. <laughs> okay, I doubt he's gonna want to try and spend bar here. There's no need to, but Drew it seems to have been in control. At least so far. Yep. Yeah. It's kinda health oh, deficit, man. but right now, yeah, controlling the pace of the match. Yeah, Absolute Force having a real tough time understanding how to get in and start stuff up. Drew has a very odd kind of timing to a lot of his moves. So it's difficult to try and figure Ooh. out. Oh, uh, it's just not three. enough. Okay, tried to go for the oh, online low, not so much. Yeah, this Ooh. is Parsec, my friend. We don't get to do that kind of stuff. That's not necessarily I... fair to call that an online low, because it is safe and it is a tech jump. Yeah, it, it's it's actually like one of the most jacked up lows in the game. But uh, I believe Super Applied Drew is genuinely playing in better than better than PS4 offline conditions. Yeah, it certainly <laughs> seems that way. I mean, you know, when, when I've seen him play like in, in offline stuff, he is, he is able to pull off quite a lot of stuff. So. You know, it's difficult to say either way, but it seems to not be affecting him too much, which uh, is, is exactly why these kind of, why I try to set this kind of stuff up. It's an okay nice punish there. I kind of wish that, like, off of these uh, full crouch 3Ks, we were getting more than just a wall rising 12, but uh, still, you know, pretty good stuff. Yeah, I mean, like, as long as you're getting something. Yeah. Because, like, otherwise, then the Yoshi Bits is like, hee <laughs> Yeah, like, like what happens when I have to deal with it, yeah. <laughs> Okay, what was that, like a 1-1-B one, one or a 2-2-B two, two plus K? I'm not sure. Either way, he's got the full red rose petals. I think that means the uh, umbrella does more damage. If I remember correctly. The toes? Absolute force. Having such a tough time trying to figure stuff out. It is also important to note Drew is Maryland. I am kind of surprised oh. we haven't seen the Maryland chance coming out just yet. And uh, if there's a community that is familiar with the Yoshi matchup, I would think it would have to be them, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, kind of everybody does, but, uh, you know, you have a champion in, in, in your lying in wait. Well, champion Huang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. That was really smart, because I think if he went for the A option, he might have hazard not hitting the wall. Yeah, that is true. Still need a moon in order to be fully stocked up just yet. Haven't seen a lot of, um, we may not have a connection strong enough to do it. Ooh, okay, Ooh. going past Jeez. the break attack. Not punishing Setsuka 3B though, that's kind of an important detail. It's an I-10 okay. only specific thing. Uh -oh. It's a fantastic wall combo here. Are you gonna go for any kind of shenanigans? Yeah, a little uh, bit of shenanigans there. That's shenanigans. Another hit. 
Oh, no wall splash. Oh, it gets another oh, wall. There were like 15 <laughs> wall splats in that round. Jeez. There was like two resets, I think. Yeah. That was some crazy stuff. It's like blowing on an NES. <laughs> oh, oh, surprise. Wait, why didn't I lethal hit? Am I done? Uh, I thought that, that was I, a lethal hit condition, but it's yeah, a lethal hit it's... if it if it if it dodges something. But yeah, he has okay. to like go through the teleport animation. I think he just hit him at the stray end. Yeah, I guess so. Guys, yeah, absolute force is trying to fish a lot with that 4K to try and get in. Drew was correct about spacing it out, but isn't getting any damage to come of it. Has a free bar effectively. Let's see what they can do with it. Gets a ton of chip damage there. Oh, the GI slightly off kilter with some. Okay, so force aggressive. is absolute force to spend bar. Frankly speaking, if I'm Drew, that's a win. That's a huge win. Oh, but nice conversion. Oh, okay. So it's two bars to one in the first round. So this is the scary thing. You were correct about everything. You got him down to one bar, so you have the meter advantage. But you are dead to one Brave Edge. You just really yeah. have to be careful about your spacing here. Oh, it gets a 2 a oh. fantastic 6K conversion. Let's no soul charge dead, though. Okay, we'll see it right after. Oh, fantastic oh. duck, yes. Yeah, now Drew has to get up, and this is difficult. Okay, but uh, unfortunately, your meter advantage is kind of gone, right? Because you're probably not even going to survive. Uh, I doubt oh, that's what no he wanted. Oh, no punish! Yeah, he it's tried too to get stubby. Like, the I-14 and ended up getting punished for his own good. Wait, he doesn't have any more meter. He lost his bar. Oh, crap! He's just doing AAA in order to get bar, but it's not going to work, except it may still work! Yeah, oh, he actually gets the punish this time. You have to soul charge. We're not nice soul throw. charging. We're gonna Let's... see E instead and get the second game. Wow, oh. greedy, my dude. So Ooh. greedy to do stuff like that. Wow, that, it worked. Yeah, <laughs> I just like that. That's ballsy. You know what? Ballsy stuff is the way to go at the beginning of a first to ten. You know? Yeah. Makes sense. That, that's the kind of thing that somebody would be like going, losing their mind over when a, in tournament play. So that you know, I would hate punch. it. Yeah, right? Like, technically, like that, he won like... the tournament set, right? And so that would be, like, that would be so irritating to deal with now. Yeah, because it's like, I know my opponent wants to mash like crazy to get meter back, and then they do, and they successfully do it, and then they're like, but instead of soul charging to play defensively, they're like, well, I just have kill for off throw, Lamel. <laughs> yeah, imagine just having like... to, like, just shake somebody's hand after something, something like that. That would be crazy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, as far as thinking about it, it's like, what the, that, that was grimy. I could have I could have done anything there. Like I could have two eight his two eight him or something, or I could have, like ninja punched him. It also really sucked that like obviously Drew didn't want the umbrella that ended up happening kind of like in the middle of nowhere, and so I think yeah. that's why the it wasn't necessarily the stubbiness of the whiff punish that he attempted, but it was the fact that like who in their right mind would do that, and like he just didn't expect that kind of thing to happen. Yeah. Okay, we got the desert stage now. Um, we'll see if that's this kind of a downgrade. Rags. Yeah, I, it's kind of difficult, right? Because, you know, well, Setsuka doesn't get the wall that uh, that they used to. Which that's true. That we did see two resets that of a wall. Game. Yeah, so maybe that mm. kind of sucks. But, uh, but yeah, this is kind of... Drew has been very good at staying in the middle of the stage as much as humanly possible. He doesn't really try yeah. to, like, wrangle it out. Wow, actually sidesteps Yoshi uh, 9K. I know it's possible, but pretty improbable. Whew. All right, here we go. Already Free B. Ring edge. Absolute Force, yeah. I think, is gaining a little bit more momentum in regards to figuring out how to uh, punish Drew's responses to Yoshi Oki. He's staying on the ground a lot, doing a lot more 3B as opposed to full crash 3K, which really hasn't been successful so far. So, we'll see if that adaptation continues. Mm. Okay, run up. Run up block a lot. 4K to catch backstep. Yeah, kind of playing this a little bit slower now. I think Drew is forced to play this a little bit slower, if only because of the stage. But he's playing slower in a way, but he's also playing pretty fast. Because whoop, whoop. Still, I think like I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he understands that like the comfort space for Yoshimitsu <laughs> is uh like six A plus B, so he needs to keep the pace of the match to prevent um absolute force from using that willy nilly. Uh, and he's doing a good job so far. I just uh I just want to mention uh Drew had like three different exchanges in this round alone where he not only like 100% acted appropriately to deal with like Yoshi strings but he also like tried to do like a just frame for like the most execution heavy thing in the universe to try and punish and he kind of got it except he just didn't get as much damage so he looked really fancy and then very much not fancy <laughs> he looked fancy and then he looked schmancy 
We're seeing like pretty middling punishes off full clutch DK. I think that might actually start emboldening absolute force at this point. Yeah, maybe. Or at least going for like one miss. Okay, we're getting GIs off of the 6 AA screen. Oh. We don't see that all that often. Gets the full case, so he's fully stocked up. No, no, that's not 14. Absolute force. Struggling to try and find an opportunity to start pressure. Now that's exactly oh, what he was nice looking for this whole time. Yeah, that's that's very easy to see. That's gonna kill. Uh, and absolute force needs to ensure that oh, I, I lied. Okay, uh, it's not gonna kill. Hey, hey, hey. Very sorry. He's gonna the try three? to work off of this gar gauge, I think. You know, the full crowd uh. three is not enough. You need more three Bs. You need uh you need more mids to try and cover for this sort of thing. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think two two B has landed once. No. I mean, Drew so has been like, playing around it the whole time. Like, like right there, he's playing around two two B. He's playing around two two B the whole time. Rightfully so. Y you have to on stages like yeah. this. Yeah, two A two A. He's just like not letting it start. Jeez, Frank. exhausted. Man. Like he, he is just draining absolute force of any potential offensive pressure. Yeah, he's getting smoked in the neutral right now. Like he's he just cannot get in and he can't establish. And it's like he's uh, Superfly Drew is doing a really really good job of establishing a pace of the game that prevents Yoshimitsu from it playing the game without any risk. Like he can he can play faster if he wanted to, but he can't do anything that gives him guard damage or more or, or like just more in your face stuff that allows to play the game more aggressively. Thank you for covering me for the for there for a while. I had to blow my yeah. nose. I'm still I apologize <laughs> if I sound very stuffy. It's been like that for about a week now. Hopefully it won't affect the VOD too much. No, it'll be f I think the VOD will survive. Yeah, just so you know, I'm muting my microphone every time I do that, but I only, I can either mute it for you or mute it for everybody else. So unfortunately, you have yeah, to mute it for all everybody else. I could care less. Like I was like, oh. Okay, we're going back to it. Absolute Force taking a little bit of time in between games. I very much appreciate this. This tends to be what I do when I lose, too. Even if you're not necessarily thinking of a specific thing, or you're not necessarily researching a specific piece of information, it's still important just to clear your head of all the things that are frustrating you in that instance, you know? Yeah, it, it's actually more important to have, like, what? Well, that's such a good whip punch for that. Yeah, he's setting them up beautifully. He's just really ensuring that he's maximizing his ability to, um... Drew is maximizing his ability of, uh... Leaning on the weak, the very few weaknesses that Yoshi has, which is trying to get in to actually start the pressure. Oh, oh. no punish there off of that grab attempt. That's gonna be kind Ooh. of a big deal. Yeah, yeah, kills. yeah. Nice. Okay, absolute force getting the first round. I think for the first time, it's kind of been the Drew show so far. So we'll see if this yeah. ends up working. Okay, we are getting punishes on the umbrellas now. Yeah, that that first one was a fluke. Yeah. He's definitely got that on got, got that on download. Oh, oh, see the two there two, it is again. have to it's stop going for reverse right now. It's not going to work on Drew. See, he's immediately going to the center of the stage, and this is this is what like offline versus Yoshi is like and should be like. This is the kind of thing you don't really get to see in online tournaments all that much, because yeah. uh, Yoshi is so irritating and people just sometimes just simply forget. See so, again, one beyond hit immediately backing up to to everything, never really engaging on a two two B. Has not chosen an option that loses the oh. two two B yet. Is that dead? I think he just cooked it. Yeah, I think so. Because I think four four K like does not scale at all. Wow. Oh, was so much. Woo! He needs what two more rose petals, and then uh, Drew is fully stocked up. We haven't really seen a lot of like walking around to try and get like whiff punishes uh, with soul attack. May not have the connection for that just yet. We'll see. I'll be honest. I, I don't. I'm not sure if anybody's ever played Setsuka with the objective of trying to get resources. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Like you just naturally get them by playing the video game, right? There's some one maze in here. Getting a punish on 3B. It seems like unless it's really like in yellow life, Absolute Force doesn't really want to spend the time doing AA punishes uh, for Why? an I-10. Yeah, it, it kind of makes sense. Like, yeah, I can understand Minus 4 it. is not a place to be. Oh! Nice. Hey, block too. Punish, yeah. Drew's still kind of like a brick wall here. Oh? Double A? Hey, again, yeah, you know, we can get not... better punishes, but the fact that we're getting this one consistently on each one is a pretty big deal. Yeah, he's usually only getting it on like pretty hard timing 
uh, breeds. Uh, otherwise, he's uh, under pressure, like where it's like kind of like like one oh, comes after the other. Oh my god, he's getting smoked. Yeah, I remember <laughs> when there was that like first round where where we were like, oh okay, he's actually getting. Oh, oops, sorry, I thought that was the end. This is still three to zero. Let's see where we go from here. So still fully stocked oh, up. Are geez. we going with bar? We're not going with bar just yet. He gets a finally gets a punish on a one B. He gets a block one B and gets a punish immediately. So nice to immediately spend bar. I assume Drew is gonna well, I was gonna say that Drew is gonna play it defensively. Apparently not. And now you're gonna have to with deal with defense. the deadly Yoshi Oki. Wow, he oh, oh, oh. Great positioning. Okay. Like really good. Uh okay, so the bar there. totally makes sense. Has it in addition. Wow, just immediately goes for that on a minus 12. That could have been a huge amount of damage if he was wrong. Oh! Okay. I quite mm. think this is going to solidify it. Who's going to take it? No, Drew's going to back off. Just wait for this one to dissipate. Unfortunately, Ooh. he doesn't get the rest of like the Soul Charge stuff, but he has a bar of his own. He's not going to let Absolute Force do anything here. Mono backstep. Absolute Force being slowed down to a crawl here. Doesn't know how to handle it. Doesn't Man. know how to handle it at all. Man, really good B neutral. 2A, 2A. Absolute force. Did you see the camera? <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> nah, that was crazy. Like, at, at like, like two character widths away, uh, Absolute Force had no in. And then the second when he tried to slow it down by playing defensively, uh, Drew, Drew would just run up and 1B his feet off. Like, really smart. Yeah, yeah. Man, suddenly, uh, the fact of the matter is, oh. Are we getting a character change? Uh, I think change? Mitsu have we actually decided? isn't a dumb idea here. Uh, you have like... It, it's weird. The engagement's like not better per se, but you stay in longer. If he is opting for for Mitsu. Might well, we'll be opting for Nightmare. Know. I would say out of the characters that I know Absolute Force for, he might be switching to Nightmare as I think that's the best character matchup you have available. Mm. Yeah. There's potential for that. I'm not... I'm, We'll see though. I I always feel like it's Mitsu though, uh, just because it's like actually. But you're right. Like if you're getting zoned out, I I feel like Mitsu would be a scarier pick unless you're like really confident that they're just gonna like sit there and block like. I think it's Relic K or whatever. I forgot about the one the, the big shoulder charge. Um, it's or if you're like willing to rest one A. But uh, yeah, uh, it's. Because, like, the yeah, mix is... It's, it's tough. I, it's tough oh, yeah, choice either way. So I feel like if you wanted to stay aggressive, Nightmare was the way to go. And if he wants to play defensive, Mitsu was the way to go. So I'm curious to see. He still has plenty of time. Drew has decidedly won the last four games. But he's not even halfway done, right? So, yeah. you know, I do appreciate the fact that uh, Absolute Force is trying some of the stuff out kind of early on in set where it doesn't see... It, does, it doesn't come off as desperation. It comes off as genuine curiosity. Because there's a good chance that Drew doesn't have anywhere near the same amount of character experience with a character like this, right? Yeah. Gets pretty, pretty, again, pretty solid with Punish. I, I think Absolute Force, no matter which character he plays, is going to have to deal with the fact that Drew is playing this defensively. And it's really kind of funny... Actually, wait a second. I just realized this matchup is terrible for Mitsu. <laughs> this matchup yeah. is miserable. And so I'm very surprised that he decided to do this. But, like, you know, Umbrella shuts down so much of this stuff. This is the lore fight. This is, like, supposed to be, by the game's own definition, supposed to be a terrible matchup for Mitsurugi. So I'm curious <laughs> to see if he can pull this off. No, see, like, that doesn't work. Doesn't Umbrella just 100% beat that on block? I uh, think it does. I We'll see if he's able to pull out all the options. I'm Maybe he's warming sure up on Umbrella it. I'm pretty sure just 100% beats that. I might be wrong. So far, so good, though. I, I, it's hard yeah, to it's say. Working. Like, I mean, he's also getting more blocks. It's kind of funny because I think the minus 12 wall rising punter from Yoshi is better than the Mitsu one, except he, like, barely blocked any of them with Yoshi, and he's blocking all of them with Mitsu. Yeah. Okay, gets a punish. He it's also doesn't have a hit. punish. Uh, Setsuka doesn't have to be worried about a punish for 3B now. That's when he had to really worry about it initially anyway. But okay, Absolute Force is being the defensive player now. He's doing this kind of stuff. Also, 3B on block. I Again, I'm pretty sure that Setsuka Umbrella can just 100% beat everything. Not but not 3B. when you have timing. Yeah, I guess like, that's true, yeah. Like, because he, he got enough mental frames to be in stance for like 6,000 years. And it was just like, well, I know you have it on deck. We even saw like the flash at the beginning of the Barilla. just gets bopped out of it. Yeah, Umbrella definitely beats everything post 1kb on hit, but okay, we're getting a huge leap. Of this has been all absolute force. Is this what we needed? Mitsu of all things? I, I oh, think it's wow, it's man. a weird comfort pick, but it just always seems to pan out. I, yeah, like on paper, I feel the same way. It's like uh, It seems like it has this, the character has the same weakness as a Yoshi, but it, there's a cadence in which uh, he plays that that seems to be like just way better. I don't know what to describe it. 
Okay, he does have that guard crush going for him. We'll see if he gets nothing! Oh, he didn't get anything! God, Mitsu Wall Rising AA is so terrible, but it only is going to be a problem if you can actually capitalize off of it. Okay, so Absolute Force gets on the board with Mitsurugi. Yeah. I, know. I might be wrong, but it really feels like this matchup on paper is really, really bad. So I don't it, know how long this is going to last. Yeah, this might pewter out eventually once I think the stance transitions get completely shut yeah. down. But Absolute Force is staying, doing a really good job of just staying inside. Uh, whereas I feel like on Yoshi, he wants to create some space to he's get his struggling. opponents to he, do something kind of silly. He appeared desperate the whole time when he was doing that, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is like, you know, you almost wanted to play like this, like, clean Yoshi game where it's like, oh, yeah, I, I, I deny your movement by making sure that you move, and then I, I, I'm like, I already have your timing, and I 4K you to make you feel like an idiot. I love uh, the and fact... And then mix you up. Yeah, I love the fact that we're getting 3-3-B punishes off of duck grabs. Like, I appreciate the fact that we're really going hard. Now, we're not getting any punishes on, uh, what is that, like, 6-B plus K or something, uh, which can be kind of a big deal, but it's not going to be a big deal this round. We ended up getting a small box where Mitsu's backstep is kind of limited. I imagine that if he wants to stay Mitsu after this, then we're going to have a change stage. Ah. See. Ooh. I, you know, I do apologize if I'm wrong. I'm like 99% sure that Umbrella beats 6B Beyond Block all options no matter what. Ooh. See. Minus 12. God, all these blocks on these 1Bs. He has not been wrong about much of anything. In fact... <clears throat> Both of these players have been having a very oh. terrible time on their offense. Their defense have been stellar, but like the offense has not been great for either player. Maybe that's what's pushing him over the edge, though. Is that like you you get a little bit more off of your offense, uh, even if it's a little bit like jankier with Bitsu. Whereas like it, you have to have like you have to be pretty on on point for your offense to work if if, if uh, full catch decay is working. It isn't working yeah. for, for Yoshi, so is that possible? Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's going to 100% punish everything all the time. Okay, Woo! decides to get an early Shura. Well, early in the sense of this isn't going to kill. But okay. <laughs> He's basically dead to much of everything, but Drew doesn't have any resources. No, that's a that's an umbrella there. I, 1A is difficult to try to use against, Satsuka. That's another see. bar. I assume he doesn't want to use it. He wants to try and utilize Shura to try and just end this round immediately. Infinite 3-3Ks. Three, three Infinite 3-3Ks. Three, three <laughs> you look literally never ending. <laughs> All you can eat, hometown buffet. Yeah, shades of SE5 Mitsu. So, I honestly, <laughs> I'm not necessarily convinced that this was a bad pick just yet. I just feel like a different stage is the way to go. Yeah, but I, he's stuck on it. I oh, well then clearly down. I'm wrong. I feel like you want more room to walk around. I don't know, though. Oh well, there you go. Let's see, he rolls it in. Nice GI. <laughs> Ooh, fantastic size. Oh, great punish on top of this. <laughs> he really projected oh, no. that duck for quite a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can never complete that string. That it's a real tough matchup because of this kind of stuff. <clears throat> he decides to go for the grab. Makes a lot of sense. Doesn't want to try to do the I twelve punish. More stance Man. mix. Drew has been nothing but money so far. Whew. Now that force is fenced in against the wall, it's like looking really ugly. Absolute force. So we can Once do again, here, though. We, we're we're in a very similar situation in which it feels like all Drew, but it's a little bit different in the sense of he, he's kind of getting shut down for the for a different reason than when he was playing Yoshi. With Yoshi, he was just never in. He could never do any of the reverse mix-ups or any of that kind of stuff that he was hoping to get. And here, it just feels like he's being stifled. It feels like he's being stifled in close as opposed to far out. Uh, oh. Absolute force, Jeez. stunned, silent here. He just does not yeah. know what to do. He's, it looks like he's pretty lost right now. Oh, he's but like in a little maybe there. I think that it's sort of, sort of weird to say this, but I feel like the Yo the reason why the Yoshi pick was too problematic was Ooh. because there was this sense of like there's this temptation to do all the good stuff, and if your opponent knows that the good stuff is coming, you just lose your turn, right? Yeah, like exactly. with all those two TPs. Whereas I feel like there's no temptation with that with Mitsu. But now that uh, Superfly Drew has recognized that, he's just like, well, I can just run him over. Yeah, but the fact of the matter is, uh, even though the Mitsu is less predictable, Mitsu is still worse than Yoshi. So it yeah. just becomes like a, a character power kind of thing. Nobody wants yeah. to do any grabs because everybody's dead to CEs. Nice to... Oh, it doesn't get oh, any Oh, I thought he had it. it. Okay, here we go. It decides to spend bar. Drew wants to end this right here, right now. The the, the quicker the set can be, the better it's going to oh. be for him. And a fantastic whiff punish It's going to bring it 6-1. to one. This is a landslide so far. Are we going with yeah, Nightmare? We don't want to try Nightmare. I feel like that might be a potential good pick. 
at least try to switch the stage. I feel like this isn't doing him a favor. Yeah, I mean, if he if he wants to rematch, then he probably understands the matchup better than I do in in regards to what he how he wants to play it. I just feel like it's mm. not really working out. It's a real rough matchup. Yeah, Drew is really just dictating the pace of Welcome pretty much all of this. Uh, like, yeah, super slow with Yoshi, super hot with Mitsu. Yeah. It's tough. He's definitely in between a rock and a hard place. I'm not sure how he's going to pull out of this. Mm. We see we'll see if his character pull is really deep. I, I mean, like, I feel like Yoshi can do it. He just has to just not give away turns to 2 to be fishing anymore. Like, you do that when you're ahead, uh, like, uh, in terms of, like, momentum, and your opponent's, like, scrambling to get back into the game. You're like, ha, you die. But uh, for, like, shock factor, initially, that time passed, like, probably for five games ago. Yeah, I know what you mean. So he's decided to go back to Yoshi, and he has right. found as neutral of a stage as humanly possible, so I feel like Drew is just going to calm it down again. <laughs> so very, very slow. Okay, we are getting good blocks on these now, and now instead of getting like some frame advantage with Mitsu, you get a knockdown with Yoshi. And I feel like if you just change how the blocks are going and getting a stronger level of defense, which Absolute Force is very good at, I feel like things can turn it around. These punishes are strong. Yeah, doing a lot more like stance uh, <laughs> stuff. Okay, there we go. See, like we're, we're getting in, and we're like we're, we're getting like good punishes. I just feel like uh, Absolute Force's gameplay at the beginning of the set was a Ooh. little too one note, right? Like it was just kind of what you were talking about. He just goes for the most obvious answers over and over again. He kind of trying to find a, a cheap way out, with all due respect. He was trying to just try to like go for the for the kill stroke regardless of what the problem might be and, and drew just completely yeah. shut that down if you play a regular game you can still keep up here yeah i think if you remove 2-2-b ironically from the game plan uh, until like it's yeah. really 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 gone as a threat uh he's fine because like it, the, the thing is like the way the absolute force plays is very much like nickel and dimey but in order you have to like build like this house of cards right and he's he was having a hard time doing it because he would like consistently drop it at critical moments now he's completely taken it out of his game plan and look where we're at he's just cr just beating the crap out of him because he doesn't ever like lose his turn yes yeah, slowly but surely being very sticky just kind of like continuing to stay in isn't taking any of drew's base and this is going to effectively force drew to be more aggressive on him, right? He's jumping all the lows. He's also caught like every single reversal edge on top of things. This is the first time we've seen Absolute Force really come a lot in this set yeah. so far. Uh, Maybe not that warm. Oh, I think Ooh, that's it, dead. isn't it? That's it, yeah, he out. Yeah, that's like not <laughs> even hard, yeah. That's, okay. <laughs> Man. So, so we're at two, but with all due respect to Absolute Force, I feel like, like this is the first game he's won one. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is the yeah. first time where it really seems like he is in control, he has figured something out, he is guessing correctly, but he's also, like, really punishing Drew for some of the options that he's been taking, a little bit more so than just, like, mono, like, dash in and then block still. Like, he doesn't feel yeah. hesitant anymore. This is his game. He's got some work yeah. to do, though. I feel like it's a, it's kind of funny, like, the Bun Mitsu when he got was, like, a Factor Fiction round, where it's like... Uh, you do you know the counterplay? We'll prove it, right? And they eventually got it after like two games, yeah. uh, after like a single game. But that that was like kind of like a fluke because, like you mentioned, like the uh, umbrella destroys uh, all that stance mix up. But now we're at this different stage where it's like, okay, he's playing the way he wants to play, and then removing the one weakness that created the sort of like the gap in the game plan to give Superfly Drew the the time to think that like, okay, I can really like bring this back no matter what. Just have to wait till certain. Like conditions are met. Uh, now, uh, Absolute Force is just memeing to his heart's, to, heart's content, and now this is where like you could probably two two be like if you needed to. Not that he's gonna do it because he's nowhere near the ring edge, but like, uh, yeah. Yeah, I really feel like Drew has actually taken kind of a pretty staunch adaptation in that last round. It was kind of the adaptation I expected that he would end up doing. So he was going for like GIs, auto GIs, mm -hmm. reversal edges to try and deal with a lot of this kind of stuff, and also some some lows. Uh, now Drew is mashing. Now Drew is just yeah. like constantly mashing and getting like a lot of small hits to try and stop Absolute Force from playing like the typical game plan of like run up and then do something, right? He's just yeah. kind of interrupting Absolute Force's pressure the way uh, the way that Absolute Force is trying to do it. Wow, doesn't even need to spend the meter. Actually gets the third hit of the GI. I find that to be not easy. Doesn't get the wall though. Wow. Unlucky. I don't know, man. I feel like uh, some of these lack of punishes on 3Bs, I think they could be adding up at this point. Again, I understand not wanting to punish it. I'm not saying that he doesn't know. 
But, uh, yeah. Um... Uh... That was... Okay... Blocked? Uh, wow, I thought he was mid-animation. Dang. Yo! Okay, 3 bb nice. Constantly nice. trying to get a punish there and not getting anywhere. Wow. <laughs> Drew didn't even need to do that. Drew could have just ducked and taunted. There were only four seconds left. Even with a wall combo, he wasn't going to catch up. But he decided to do double just frame twister. What a rude dude. Like a true sets of command. Yeah. Lots of style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just okay, we're back in that situation yep. where he's playing really defensively and, like, absolute forces forced to get in there. And I feel like that's, like, kind of like her what Harold's is doom is. Like, if Yoshi looks like moments. he's struggling to get yeah. in trouble. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, he's just, he's just getting worked up here. He can't figure out the... It, it honestly feels like what happens when you have to deal with, like, Cervantes as virtually any yeah. character. Where it's like a 2A or it's a backdash, and I have to hard commit to beat either one. Yeah. Like, I can't just, like, choose a, a mild option that's going to beat one or the other. He has to fully commit. And Drew, once again, in the driver's seat here. Uh, Absolute Force has to come up with something yet again. I guess he just hasn't really been playing Nightmare, so that's not really, like, part of his uh, repertoire. Yeah, I, I think that's... It's mostly, like, a... Kind of a shame. Like I a decree honestly Discord don't special. know what it would have been like had he had that up to snuff, you know? Uh, hmm. Yeah, it, it would definitely be different, sure. I, I, I'm on... I, I haven't played it in, like, for, like... I want to say, like, six months, so I can't really comment on it anymore, but it was pretty good when I saw it. But right now, just getting rushed down. Just small pokes over and over again. Absolute Force has not been right about a single thing so far this this game. Yeah. Struggling to get in. I mean, you can see like all of these dashes, and he just can't get in with Full Crash 3K. He's just having a dickens of a time here. I think he's having trouble too because he's getting beat up for running in and guarding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, like no option seems to be correct. You gotta, you gotta sit here and wonder, how was he able to win that other game? He was just basically in control the whole time. Was Drew just playing around? Did he end up trying to adapt to something and then just realize that if he kept doing the same game plan, Absolute Force would still fall apart? I, I think a couple one of the one of the key components of that round was that every single time Drew went for some uh, Mary Poppins mix up, uh, he got like counter. He he got he got whip punished by like Flea B. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is something. Close to the wall. It looks kind yeah, of not like quite a wall the... combo. It certainly does damage like a wall combo would. Another fantastic block. Drew's defense has been immaculate. Just is he like... really going to bring this back? Oh, well. Nice knockdown. There we go. There. Because I, I was noticing, like, uh, Absolute Force was just kind of going for the <laughs> option that was in front of him as opposed to, like, going for timings. Because, like, I think if he slows the game down more and he's up close, he's fine. Because Drew has been abusing the fact that Setsuka is pretty good at mashing up close, with like two A being the kind of like the yeah. foundation of it all. Uh, but if he can get control of that and make you know make it like not as fun to be in that situation, oh. oof, geez, then I think he's got a chance. But right now he's kind of like okay, <laughs> it's kind of over there swinging at each other. But yeah, Drew is definitely getting a lot more damage Woo. off of the hits that he's getting. And yes, and again, just mono moving back. Why even attempt? Why even attempt yeah. to get, like, your 1B blocked, and then you're in a knockdown, and then you're in a scary situation? If that 1B got blocked, who cares? Yeah. This is the way that you have to play against Yoshimitsu, right? This is the well, this is the level of respect that you have to give this kind of character. Yeah. Because, like, if you if you go too buck wild, you explode. This is, like, this is the way it be. Okay. Alright. Nice, G. <laughs> oh, it doesn't actually get it. I think it was supposed to be, like, a 2-2-B. Wow, both of them just winging 8-way run moves, and it backs oh. off, yeah. Dude, Absolute Force is getting so mad frustrated. I'm Like, if you've met the guy in person, he is a very affable young kid. Like, yeah. I just imagine in this situation, he's getting so irritated. Alright, well, he's getting opportunities now. Jeez, there it is again. Nice GI. Yeah, he, every every time. Every time he gets a GI there. Yeah, it's really, it's really good counterplay. <laughs> of course, most people don't block it, so that's why we rarely see it. <laughs> yeah, that's really the only <laughs> thing. People just don't tend to block it. Oh, is this the first time? Now, this is the thing, is that the 2-2-B the isn't as scary here. Yoshi doesn't have no, any no meter, and it's the yeah. only time when Drew actually went in against uh, Yoshi with the back to the edge. Like, that's kind of crazy. Like, it, his meter awareness on Absolute Force's bar is almost on par, if not better, than Absolute Force on his own bar. Yeah. No, he knows his opponent's resources extremely well, and it's like, that's what you have to do against Yoshi, though, because it's like, a, a, a one green, a little bit of green, you're like, okay, well, this option's stupid. You can't, I can't re hazard this low, or... Like, oh, I, I can't really go for verticals when I'm at the ring edge. But 
yeah it's i think it, like yeah absolute force is having a hard time controlling the game at, at this point and i feel like he needs it mostly because yeah Definitely yoshi can't just yoshi, be like that's for sure yeah yeah because like he's but he's getting blown up on the really basic components of it like mm -hmm. like run up guard specifically because i've seen or just like run up like temp run up guard into a button and you get six speed on approach and you're like oh crap i got counter hit like then the, the game switches around and he typically kind of has to do that sort of thing in order to deal with setsuka's backdash and really the yeah. only option that yoshi is going to have in a spot like that to deal with both would be to go for med k and go for mix-ups yeah. like that but he's also been pretty unsuccessful with those as well like he, he like yeah. the 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 med k into like low kick has Welcome not really had a lot of success and he's getting punished yeah. every time too yeah, there's yeah, he's kind of he's running out of he's basically kind of running out of options. Uh in terms running out of, of options, running out of time. Yes, to, to, he can't really empty. stop his opponent from moving. And that's really the key here is like the movement's really what's creating this because <laughs> it's not so much that like Drew's right all the time, it's that Drew, Drew gets to select when what kind of game they want to play at almost every interval. And we we kind of see this represented with 1B. Mostly being it used at like tip range as well as like up close as a mix. Hey, there it is! It finally so, came out. See, this is the thing though. I think I kind of said it when he switched to Mitsu that I was happy he was trying to do a different character early on in the set where it didn't seem like desperation and it seemed like genuine curiosity. This honestly seems a little desperate. Now, I think this is a yeah. much better matchup. I think it's very difficult for Setsuka to contain, sidestep, and contain armor at the same time. But we'll see <laughs> if he can pull it off. He's got the stage to force it to where if his opponent runs in and gets caught by straight button uh yeah like there that you go. Yeah. Uh, well actually we, we should probably hold judgment right because like almost every yeah, single like character change in, has been le has led to a win so there might be like That's that true. kind of like oh i gotta warm up against this other character kind of thing yeah we'll yeah see what I, I think i know what you mean this could definitely be a, like a landslide for him doesn't get the lethal hit there but it could be a landslide for absolute force and then we're back to normal yeah exactly Oof. Well, but right now it's looking pretty even. Oh, Drew just feels totally comfortable just going for like absolute force. Just wants to straight up block uh, this stance mix, which I feel like is really gutsy, really terrifying. And uh, I'm Ooh. surprised he's not going for like a reversal edge or something like that to try and deal with it. But just like blocking it, I mean, every single, basically every single option is safe. So I'm kind of surprised he's going for stuff like that. I think what's important about this nightmare pick, though, is that based off of the fact that both of the round starts have been 2TB in favor, I mean, uh, 6TB in favor of Absolute First, is that the situation that that health deficit puts uh, Drew in is creating a different game. And it allows uh, Absolute Force to then play a lot faster. So you can kind of tell that, like, you basically just have free reign as Nightmare, because again, very similar to what we were talking about before with the Yoshi versus Setsuka situation, where Yoshi has to decide, hard commit, to beating either backdash or an immediate 2B at slight frame advantage or slight frame disadvantage, right? He has to commit to a specific option. In a spot like this, Setsuka's on the back foot. Setsuka has to commit fully to either beating armor or beating sidestep. Uh, yeah. th th there is no in between. You're 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 kind of putting uh, the shoe on the other foot here. Ooh, it's the shoe on the other foot. Put the whole boot in the butt. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. How? Oh, the, I was so smart. How the butt tables. <laughs> okay, decides to spend bar. Kind of a desperation type move. Absolute force. Still in a little bit of hesitation here. Wow, the one oh, time he re's is like the best time you could have possibly done it. <laughs> that was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the coolest RE I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> All right, well, character switch. Interesting. Okay, so out of the repertoire, what do you think Drew's going to pick? I think he sticks with Seska. He has so much time. Does he really want to just immediately switch? Is it really that big of a deal? It might be well, a bad, bad, bad matchup. <laughs> what? <laughs> this guy. You oh, know, this is uh, great. I got what is this? I got Seska to S rank recently. And the way that I got him from uh, S2 to S1 was a variety of matches that I played against uh, Drew's Nightmare. And uh, <laughs> So you so say he, he's on farm, huh? I'm saying that like the character he's probably practicing the most right now is Nightmare. Okay, okay. So I'm just saying, apparently this is a thing. Oh, tries to taunt and have some fun with it. Absolute Force is oh, like, man. nah, dude, I'm here to <laughs> Absolute win. Force is like, you, I'm gonna <laughs> kick your ass. <laughs> but like the other option that I would think is most reasonable for Drew, like his like second best character, would be 2B. Right? Yeah. But 2B versus Nightmare is miserable. It's like arguably one of the worst matchups in the whole game. 
Yeah, because so, Armor know, also man. dominates that matchup. Maybe Nightmare is, is tough beans for him. Does he have a character for Nightmare? Is Nightmare his Nightmare counterpick? Is that the he best that beat him can join? muster is a mirror match as, like, the way to beat Nightmare? We'll see. Uh, it, it's... I feel like Absolute Force is really the driver's seat here, but of course there's a warm-up period, I think, for Force of Yeah, I mean, there's so much time, right? He could buffoon around for like three full games, and he's still more than up, right? Exactly, it's yeah. It's a punish here. And it's a mirror match. It's not like you went to a character that does badly against Nightmare. Yeah. Well, it depends on who you talk to. I've actually unironically, I think, heard that I've seen this tweet. <laughs> Where it's like the, the mirror matchup against Nightmare is a, is a well, I would say that that's really bad. But obviously, if I disagree with somebody, then I'm being unwelcoming in the Soul Calibur community. <laughs> I don't mean to get political here. Oh man! <laughs> All right, one round to one round. Drew has like a distinct guard trouble, and especially on this stage, that can be a pretty big deal. Uh, but then also we have double bar. We have double bar on Drew's side. In fact, I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen. Uh, the meter usage just yet. It looks like Drew has a radically different way of playing the, the matchup, which is just like mono small small pokes. He almost plays Nightmare like a Seska, like he's been playing Seska against all these other people. Yeah, as he throws out the one B and lifts, yeah. <laughs> but still gets around. <laughs> okay, he didn't have to use any meter whatsoever. Grab attempt into grab. I doubt that's what Absolute Force actually wanted. I'm not sure. Oh, Ooh. try to get that good duck punish, but it was a stance. Yeah, you gotta be careful about that one. It's too fast. I have to appreciate the fact that the Nightmare player has to be worried about Nightmare with regards to <laughs> ring-out capabilities. Yeah, right. Just going for some guard break checks, I think, here. Oh, that's nice pretty funny. Such a level of step duck that Absolute Force is not used to. He's being way too vertical heavy, way too strength heavy on top of things. Okay. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think he had time. And yeah, the oh, armor well, isn't gonna do anything when you don't have a life. Yikes! Well, the counter pick is not the only best way to beat Nightmare is play Nightmare, huh? Seems like Absolute Force, whenever he so, picks a character, it's kind of what you were talking about, right? Where he gets like one win, and then that's cool. So he could switch to Yoshi, which gets he, him to four. But he didn't. Four. He went for random stage. Huh. Okay. Because that's what I would think. It's like, go to Yoshi. It's like, you baited him into playing playing a character that probably gets smoked by Yoshi. <laughs> Absolute Force versus Super Fly Drew is going to end on a Nightmare Mirror. The, I did, did you expect this? I, I didn't. I, I didn't wake you know up thinking what? this at uh, all. I'm a top tier commentator, so of course I expected this. <laughs> I 100% knew. I'm flicking my hair back as I'm saying this, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Will it nightmare? <laughs> so we end up getting the exact opposite kind of stage. We'll see yeah, if this but at least it's home field. See, 2A to get out of, this, out of stance. That's actually pretty smart. I like it. Did you say this <laughs> GI is like, in the middle of the screen. Did you say that's this very is nightmare nightmare's like, home field advantage? <laughs> okay, Drew getting a ton of damage here. I like the establishment of 2A though. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's like no armor game. Just like, because you want to open up for 9k and smaller pokes. Uh, especially and since he's not last getting punished. Was. So that's yeah, a pretty exactly. big deal. Yeah, what, what, what would you have to worry about? Like, <laughs> uh, the crouch grab. Oh, yeah, I guess. Mm. So, like, if you, if you end up, it, it, like, I, I would think that could be a, a real sticky wicket, let's say. If uh, if you end up dealing with like a nightmare player who does that, Thermidor is kind of like the only nightmare player I can remember doing that to a significant degree. Like, I'm pretty sure you could crouch grab that there and not have to worry about the stance at all. I might be wrong. About that. Oh yeah, because he doesn't have an actual. I'm silly. And the, the crouch grab is the actual. Yeah. We're talking about moves like that, you know, two A and you know two two B that we're gonna like force block or force crouch on a block. Or that's what's gonna happen. Boop. Teeny tiny case yeah. over and over again. No, the, 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 the whole game has been about Absolute Force trying to find an opportunity to try and come up with something that's huge and impactful, and Drew just wants the game to be a game of inches. Which I, I you know, I really respect that. Like this is a good uh, showcase of like yeah. how this becomes a win condition. Yes, because like you cal basically frustrate your opponent to make a mistake. Even with the highest damage character there is, small caliber can still be the way to go. And I mean, Drew is on the exhibition point. Yeah. He only needs one more round here. Decides to spend right. bar. Again, wants to end this as soon as possible. Guess I mean, he's got, got the resources. Damage. Yeah. Why not? Hard sidestep, eats the horizontal. He's okay with that. He doesn't have to deal with, like, you know, getting a whole amount of guard damage and then immediately getting punished for it. That's what their opening gambit looks like. Well, <laughs> stances. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Ooh. 
some vintage Siegfried nightmare style, type stuff. Oh, nice. the balls. <laughs> the same thing. Ball spot? No, no, not so quite. not. So he just spent Terror Charge. Absolute Force still has Terror Charge. Okay. Like, Drew's still memeing though, like, let's not totally, make it a mistake. Yeah. 4 4k in the middle of, like, as pressure is not a Well, thing. then he's just doing guard damage, right? He's, he's, he's just, it, it, like, he is trying to punish Absolute Force for just going all in on defense. I think he just got it. Oh, we caught him! Oh, the trade! Wow. All right. Drew wow. ends up taking it 10 to 3. Fantastic stuff from Drew. Really fantastic Setsuka. A meme nightmare. We saw a lot of really fantastic stuff here.